Joe Hopkins here, and I decided for a change, I'm not usually heavy, but I'd get heavy for a change. I'm getting heavy, doing the whole music versus politics thing. Music, music well, I'm going to compare the two a little bit and give some truth to y'all. Truth, truth. Why not, right? And you might be saying, what makes, what makes you, Joe, what makes you qualified to talk about any of this shit, right? Well, I'll tell you, my wife and I have worked around the margins of both of these things pretty heavily. Mostly the margins because, well, I don't know, my wife's a pretty independent thinker and uh, believes what she believes, and that doesn't go over well in either camp. So you don't get to the middle, but if you're talented enough at certain things, you do get to work the margins. And my wife is pretty damn talented at promotion. So you become a behind the scenes person really quick. Uh, fun fact, they, uh, neither side seems to want to pay behind the scenes people. Like, well, they don't really pay the in front of the scenes people either. I'll, I'll tell you about that. Let's start with music. With music. And, and this is why some of you might want to be big stars. Uh, you might be better off doing what I do, which is just making your music for fun and putting it out there just for your own personal enjoyment and see if people like it. And the reason why, right? Have you ever noticed most uh, most big stars in the entertainment industry in general, not just music, but all throughout entertainment, they tend to make it when they're young. And I'll, I'll tell you why that is, man. It's because by the time you're in your 30s, working pretty much for free for the next two and a half years, no matter how many copies your album sells, you never seem to actually get paid just doesn't appeal to one as much. You know, once you have a family and a mortgage and a car payment and, you know, you're not really willing to give up a steady job for the maybe you'll make money someday line, right? Oh, you'll be a big star and maybe someday we'll pay you. Yeah, that becomes less appealing the older you get. Right, it's why kids make it. They've well, one, you've got less to lose. I mean, I'd I'd be a lot more likely to jump into that when I was twenty than in my thirties, where my wife and I actually did have a, a chance at a recording contract with a major label, and realized that we can't just not make the mortgage payment for the next eighteen months while we record and tour, and maybe someday they'll give us money. You can't do it. You can't do that when you're older. You can't do that when you're when you're grown up and own shit. It just is what it is, right? So it it's parasitic. It's a handful of people exploiting everybody else. And for all the big stars out there, they're only a handful. The big stars, that's the carrot on the stick. You could be that someday. What people don't realize is those folks didn't get paid for a long time before they became the big stars. And they're only big stars so they can be the carrot at the end of the stick for everybody else. It might be why once artists kind of get to a certain point as independent artists, they usually opt to stay independent because you're making a living at it. You know, if you actually get a good, strong following. And yeah, there are decent... Uh, gigs in, in the music industry, in the entertainment industry, where you can make a living, right? Especially as, a, you know, out of sound engineering, you, you could get into production. You could do music for TV or radio or for ads. I've, I've done that. There's, a little, there's some money there. Some people make a good living at it. But the whole idea, I'm going to be a big star, is kind of just bunk, dude. Most people don't make it, and you're being exploited, and it's, it's just in a terrible, uh, terribly parasitic environment, man. It's horrible. Everybody's a parasite. Everybody's trying to, if you do make it, all of a sudden, everybody wants to leech off you. And that whole period of time where you're working your ass off but not making anything, they call it paying your dues, which last I checked, I thought that was, you know, paying your dues was supposed to be playing the, the uh, slave wage gigs that get you to that point like anyway it it's insane it's insane and then go over to politics where surprise surprise it it's kind of the same thing but on like this weird bigger scale and people get angrier uh what do they say 
they, they, you say you want a revolution, you know, uh, and everybody does. Politics is a handful of people uh, t telling you what to think based on moral reasons. Everybody's moral as hell, but nobody wants to compromise. It has occurred to anybody that we all live in this country, there are a bunch of us, and we all have different needs, you know? And it, it's not exactly moral to say that what I need should supersede what you need. Maybe we should uh, compromise a little bit here and, I, I don't know, find shit that serves kind of everybody or at least uh, everybody to a degree. Yeah, no, no, we're encouraged to just divide ourselves further and further apart and root for this whole thing like it's some damn football game. Go Democrats, beat those Republicans. Go Republicans, beat those Democrats. And if you're somewhere other than the U.S., just insert whatever two parties are killing each other where you are. Uh, that's, that's the encouragement. It's absolutely kind of nuts, man. I mean, nobody wants to give any. Everybody wants it their way. You don't seem to understand your way is what you've been told your way should be by some people that... Well, man, in their speeches and their fundraisers and, you know, those wonderful protests you go to, all those politicians, what they're saying there isn't what they're saying behind the scenes. I can assure you of that. You see, once again, my wife's good at promotions, so she got into politics for a while. Not real long, a little while. And being good at promotion means that we got to do a lot of the promoting stuff and I got to go to all the meetings y'all don't see, so not not that I was doing the politic and I drove the car. I'm like I'm like the roadie. <laughs> My wife's a very motivated person, so I get to see behind the scenes stuff with whatever it is she gets into. And when she gets into stuff, you know, somehow she manages to make it really far in those things without actually getting to a point where we get money. I don't know. <laughs> but that seems to be every business. Man, you can make it really far without getting paid. It's, it's shocking. Absolutely shocking. And politics is no different. So everybody's angry at each other. Everybody wants to fight it out and have their way because a handful of people who get a lot of power and influence from you following them seem to think that you should. I don't know. I, I would rather sit around, drink beer, and play guitar. And what happens if you do have your revolution and you overthrow these jackasses and put in the, quote, good people? Anybody that wants to be in charge of this crap is probably somebody who shouldn't be in charge of this crap. Everybody who wants to run things is an asshole. That's the truth, right? Somewhere there's somebody who'd be really great at that job, right, who, who would actually do a really good job, and that person doesn't want it. They don't want to do it. They, they don't want to deal with it. And uh, every now and then, even when somebody pretty decent does get there, and everybody has a different idea about what decent is, right? If you have somebody pretty decent, chances are you all hate his guts. Everybody does because he's not doing what this side wants. And he's not doing what that side wants, right? Compromise doesn't make anybody happy. And what ends up happening is you find some polarizing dickhead that'll throw everybody back to their... Uh, respective corners and uh, win an election. So people are stupid and they keep electing the most divisive vassals in the world because it works. If being divisive didn't work, uh, the Facebook algorithm would be different. <laughs> and that's, that's the truth, man. Look at it. Look at it. Anyway, these are my thoughts. Politics, music, it, it's like the same assholes that got into different businesses. And they're, they're all exploiting the hell out of you. Yes, they are. And I shouldn't say too much about social media. Here I am on YouTube, which is a social media. At least YouTube pays you, right, once you get to a certain point. And the monetization is actually fairly decent. I mean, it, it's exploitive to a degree, but uh, they give you a piece of it. And yay, I kind of like that. That works all right. And it gives me a chance to express myself mostly unhindered. I mean, there are some subjects that I really wouldn't want to go into or even say the names of because I don't want this video to be demonetized, even though even, you know, just putting the word politics in it might, I don't know, it might do that. But I'm not getting into any particular 
political uh, discussion or any one particular topic. I mean, you don't need to. All the topics are the same, right? Pick anything and this side says this and that side says that and they're both all the way over here from each other with a, a handful of very motivated, aggressive assholes at the top telling you what to think that, that, that you, everybody seems to listen to them, right? And most of the people, if, if anybody watches this, I'm sure this video will get tens and tens of views. But uh, for the people watching this, I'm sure they're going to go, that's right, because our side is right. Whatever your side is. I am on the side of nobody. I'm on the side of me, right? But I'm also on the side of you guys. Because I, what I want really is self-serving. And if somebody tells this group, you can't believe that, they're going to tell me what I can't believe, too. And if they tell this group over here, you can't do that, pretty soon they'll be telling me what I can't do. I don't like that. I don't want to be told what I can believe and can't believe, what I can do and can't do. I mean, personally, here's the thing. Personally, I'm a Christian. But if they start saying that, Muslims can't be Muslims, and Buddhists, you guys can't believe that, and, you know, we start narrowing this whole thing. They're going to come after me. Hell, man, all that whole evangelical Christian movement that wants to tell everybody what they can, what religion they can be, right? Well, I'm not the right brand of Christianity for them, so I'm not safe. I don't want to tell people what to do. They're all telling us what to do, and there is no bucking the system because, well, if you're smart enough to realize at some point that you're just being screwed by everybody and, and check out of it, well, then other people run it. And if you get a movement going to say, hey, we need to fix this, well, pretty soon uh, some asshole that's just feeding you lies you want to hear to be in charge is going to be at the head of that movement. There's nothing you could do about it. That, th those are the people that run movements. They're the ones who are motivated to do it. Because those of us that just want everything to be chill, we're pretty chill people. And, well, like I said, man, I, I just drove the cars. My wife that got into all that stuff. She, she picked some good things and really believed what she was saying. And we learned that, that, that what they're saying isn't what they're saying. So <laughs> I learned that firsthand. Firsthand lesson. So that politician that, that you think... Uh, is leading you into a bright new future. That's not what he's saying when you're not there. So tr trust me, I've kind of seen it. Or don't trust me. Fuck, don't believe me. I don't want to start a movement. I want to start the let's drink beer and play guitar movement, right? Get behind me, all you beer and guitar enthusiasts, and let's start a movement of let's just chill out, have a few brews, and play some tunes, man. That, that's my movement, the, the get drunk and play some tunes movement. We're not even drunk. I don't even want to get drunk. I just want a nice buzz on. A nice buzz and play songs movement. Here we go. What do you think of that? Tell me in the comments below if you could get behind the get a solid buzz and play some songs movement. All right? Anyway, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut my mouth before I, I get my channel kicked off of YouTube for being entirely too opinionated about my lack of opinions. Okay? There we go. Subscribe to my channel because you're cool people and I'm cool people and we're going to get this solid buzz and music movement going. Yeah. Uh, never mind. I'm not that motivated. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video, man. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye.